everyone today i'm going to present our work named exploiting the matching information in the support set for few short event classification this was is, is a collaboration between university of oregon and adobe research event classification is an important task in information extraction its target is to classify event appearing in stacks into a class of interest these are two examples of event classifications. The first example is easy. An idea, an ideal event classifier should be able to classify the worst shot into class of attack. However, in the, sen the second examples, due to the ambiguity of word, the word fired may be classified into class of end position, attack, or die, according to additional context. Even event classification has been applied in many applications. It still struggles with expanding to new domain. Classified event in a new domain require classifier to deal with new classes. Under this circumstance, supervised learning model usually failed to transfer knowledge they have learned to new event type. This is due to the problem of supervised learning setting. Before creating a new dataset, people usually define a set of class of event that they are interested in. Then they ask annotator to annotate data according to the predefined list of classes. Later, machine learning, machine learning models are trained to classify examples into a class according to the list of predefined classes. Hence, under su supervised learning, extending model to unseen event types is either very expensive because of the cost of annotations or usually resulting in low performance because of the low generalization ability of the learned model. Therefore, in this study, we call for a transformation of training scheme to make event classification model perform better on unseen event. Our proposal is to train model under future learning settings because using future learning, we can still train model on existing data set. However, we can train we can obtain very high performance on unseen events because of the high generalization ability of the model under future learning. Moreover, similar to human, future learning requires just a few examples to learn a new concept. Therefore, we can extend event classification into new event types at a very low cost of annotation comparing to supervised learning setting. In a supervised learning setting, given a query instance X, a trained model has to classify the, the instance X into a class T, which is a, an element of the pre, predefined set of class T. Whereas in future learning, we are given not only the query instance X, but also a support set S. This support set contain a, well, contains well-classified examples spanning across a subset of label TS. Hence, the model is asked to predict the label of the query instance X according to the subset of label TS. In the literature, NYK short is a common setting of future learning where support set S contains N classes and there are K examples for each class. In order to train a future learning model, similar to supervised learning, we also need a training set detrain and a test set detest. However, the set of label in the training set and the testing set are disjoint. This is an important point to distinguish supervised learning and future learning. In each training iteration, 
we need to sample a support set S and a query instance and a query set Q from the training set such that S and Q are disjoint. Prototype neural network is a common metric based future learning model given the support set S and query set Q is to employ a neural network denoted as F to encode examples into vectors. Then for each class in the support set, it can collect a representative name prototype by averaging all vectors in the same class. Next, using a distance function d, it can collect the distance distribution between the query instance x to all the prototype. Finally, the model is trained by minimizing the negative log likelihood of the distance distribution. Even though prototypical network is a successful model because of its clear intuition and rely on well studied theory, its training signals come from the constraint between support set and query set only. Whereas, as presented before, the support set is a set of well classified examples. The mutual information between examples in the support set should be exploited and this may be beneficial to the problem in which the training data is limited similar to the case of few of event classifications therefore we propose to exploit the domain matching information in the support set our hypothesis is that the sum the examples in the same class should distribute close to each other whereas the instant in different classes should spend far away from each other. In order to do so, we exploit the support set and aim to form an auxiliary future learning problem using the support set. Since the support set contain k, contain k instant per class, we split them into two parts, SS and SQ. The SS stand for the support set and the SQ stand for the query set of the auxiliary problem. The loss for the auxiliary problem is calculated using the same loss functions as the original problem. Finally, two problems are jointly trained with coefficient and the with a coefficient to control the contribution of the auxiliary loss to the overall, overall loss. In order to evaluate our proposed method, we, we employed three baseline model. We employ four baseline model, the prototypical network, hybrid attention prototypical network, the matching network and the relation network. We, we employed two kind of encoder, which is um, CNN, which are CNN and transformer encoder. We evaluate the performance of the models on ACE205 and TAC KBP datasets. These are two benchmark datasets in event detection. Following prior studies, we evaluate future learning models with four settings. Five-way five-shot, five-way ten-shot, ten-way five-shot, and ten-way ten-shot. So this is the result on a dataset with CNN's encoder. As can be seen from the table, adding leave our loss to the base future learning model imp improve the performance significantly and the highest improvement is achieved with prototypical network under five-way ten shot settings 
this and other exam and other ta result table on TACKBP dataset with transformer encoder. In this uh, uh, experiment, we managed to run it on five way five shot and ten way ten shot only because of, of the number of experiments very high. Um, how we can also see the same significant improvement on all future learning on all future learning based model using the additional loss functions. And in this graph, we plot the training losses over training iteration of hybrid attention prototypical network with and without noises. The red line here represents base models, whereas the blue, blue lines represent the model with proposed leave out loss. As can be seen from the graph, the training loss of the model with leave out loss is always higher than the base lot with or with with or without noises. However, looking back at the performance we have presented before, even with higher training losses, the model can still deliver significant higher accuracies. This infer that the model trained with leave out loss can generalize much better than make the model without the proposed loss. To conclude, we have addressed the extending event classification into new event type problem by formulating event classification as a future learning problem. We provide the baselines for future event classification and propose a novel training signal that improve the performance of event classification significantly. Thank you.